Certifications in cybersecurity are essential, but something that's way more important than that is choosing the right certificates to do. Sometimes what I see is students focus too much on doing anything and everything under the sun, but that is absolutely not the right approach. You need to figure out and find out what are those good entry level certifications that will help you get a strong foothold of the cyber domain. And in this video, I'll be talking about one of those very certifications, which goes by the name of CompTIA Security Plus. How's it going guys? And welcome to another video. My name is Royden and I work as a cybersecurity tech professional in Australia and have worked for multiple critical sectors within this domain. If you're a beginner within cybersecurity and are looking to understand what are the certifications you need to do, because there are plenty out there, especially the industry entry level certifications, then you need to watch this very video till the end because I'll be talking about the mother of all entry-level cybersecurity certificates, which is the CompTIA Security Plus. I'll be speaking about the different domains that fall under the certification, how you prepare for it, what are the salaries you can get once you clear the certification, um, what are the different job titles you can apply to, everything related to the CompTIA Security Plus. So if you're confused and are a beginner, what are the certifications you need to do? Save this video and watch it till the very end. The latest iteration of the CompTIA Security Plus is the SY0701 exam, which is a successor to the SY0601 exam. And if we straight away head to CompTIA's website, we can see that this specific certification is broken down into five different domains. And you start off with your general security concepts, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, security architecture, security operations, and security program management and oversight. First, let me make one thing clear is that this is not a sponsored video or there's no partnerships with CompTIA or anything like that. I'm speaking about this from pure experience and what I see the industry trends to be. And just looking at the whole breakdown of this exam, what it tells me is that, okay, this specific course is broken down into five different modules. Your exam syllabus is also consisted of these five different modules. And if you just look at the patterns or what are the different things these modules cover, it touches upon the very basics and foundations of cybersecurity. We'll do a deep dive into the breakdown of these different concepts from an exam perspective, but let's try and see what are the different job roles you can apply for once you get your CompTIA Security Plus. And that is listed on CompTIA's website as well. And the different titles that you qualify to apply for would then be a cloud pen tester, a SOC analyst, a penetration tester, a network security analyst. So as you can see, just by the names of these different professions, it's ranging from one end of the cybersecurity spectrum to the other end of the cybersecurity spectrum. And obviously all within the same entry level difficulty. But this tells me that the CompTIA Security Plus covers all the basics associated with the cybersecurity domain. And for this reason alone, it's a great entry level certification to get your hands on. Another major advantage of the CompTIA Security Plus is that it's highly industry recognized. What do you mean by industry recognized? An industry recognized certification is one that is, let's say for example, listed in job descriptions when companies are looking to hire for junior cybersecurity roles. They list that a CompTIA Security Plus certification is highly desirable. And you'll see a lot of ads that list this specific certification as a requirement. Again, it's a huge advantage that goes for the CompTIA Security Plus. Once you get the CompTIA Security Plus and you look to apply to these junior cybersecurity roles that we just discussed, you can easily look at a salary of somewhere upwards of $80,000 as a beginner. And that is kind of the going rate in countries like the United States of America, Australia, etc. Look, cybersecurity is a domain that is pretty hot right now. So taking advantage of that wave is something that will command you a higher salary and supplementing good certifications in the CompTIA Security Plus that is, will help you reach that goal. The SY0701 CompTIA Security Plus was launched in November 2023. And if you try to sit the exam, it's 90 minutes long. There are 90 multiple choice questions and the passing score is 750 on a scale from 100 to 900. Now, once again, if you check on CompTIA's official site, they clearly say that for the CompTIA Security Plus, they recommend you do the CompTIA Network Plus first. And they also expect you to have 
a couple of years of work experience in the cyber security domain but trust me upon reviewing the syllabus and studying it i can confidently tell you that you don't need to do that even if you're a complete fresher or if you have some basic understanding of it look it's always great before you get into cyber security given that cyber security is a specialized domain you have that little bit of foundational it knowledge it's a huge bonus but let's say for example if you're a complete beginner i would still recommend this certification for you to do now one of the biggest questions is that how does the comtia security plus compare to other industry entry level certifications and the ones that i'm going to take for comparison are going to be some of the more popular ones which are the isc2 certified in cyber security uh, we'll also look at the certified ethical hacker and we look at the google cyber security certificate course which is offered by coursera now again the reason why i'm taking these three different certifications is because you hear a lot of these names pop up in the whole beginner cyber security circuit and even when students message me they come up asking okay which certification is the best out of these entry level certifications and if you rank the comtia security plus against all of these i can confidently say that the comtia security plus is a clear winner if you want to understand the overall foundations of cyber security as a whole the certified ethical hacker focuses more on pen testing if you want to get junior pen tester roles whereas the comtia security plus can help you unlock multiple doors not just penetration testing roles the ic2 certified in cyber security is also a great little certification which i've made a complete review video on this channel however if i compare it to the comtia security plus it's way easier to get that certification and as a result of this it's not that well recognized in the industry to help you get your first role similarly if you put this certification up against the google cyber security professional course which is a course offered by coursera which is a do it at your own pace course and you get a certificate at the end of that course but there's no exam associated with it just like you've got an exam associated with the comtia security plus and just for that reason alone the security plus again stands out as a clear winner against the Coursera Google Cyber Security certificate. Let's talk about the price for this certification. Now this is where I feel that there's something that goes against the CompTIA Security Plus is the price for this certification. And the current exam voucher for the CompTIA Security Plus will cost you $404. And that is a little expensive if I look to compare it to other certifications out there on the market. Let's quickly look at the syllabus or the breakdown of the five different modules for the CompTIA Security Plus. I'm going to link the syllabus for download in the description section of this video. So you can go download it and check that out as well. Starting off with the general security concepts, it focuses on the fundamental concepts first, which is great because before you get into understanding advanced stuff you first need to familiarize yourself with the lingo associated with cyber security and that is where the first module from the comtia security plus is a great one because it will help you familiarize yourself with all of those different definitions and what different terms within cyber security mean you look at triple a you look at the cia triad which is confidentiality integrity availability um, you look at physical security you look at zero trust all of that stuff within the first module other than that you'll also look at the change management process which is very important especially in big organizations whenever you're trying to deploy any changes you've got to go through a change management process and how that process maps to cyber security so it's really refreshing to see that this side of cyber security is also covered in this certification exam after that you look at cryptography which is all packed into this first module. In module two, you're going to be focusing on threats, vulnerabilities, and how to mitigate these different threats and vulnerabilities. Once again, you'll start off with the common foundational level stuff with regards to what are threat actors, um, what are the different motivations for these threat actors. You look at attack surfaces, threat vectors, how this applies to cybersecurity. Um, you'll also look and understand the various different types of vulnerabilities that are associated with devices with networks etc and finally we look at malicious attacks which are associated with malware physical attacks network based attacks application attacks um password attacks so once again you're focusing on every domain within the broader 
domain of cybersecurity. The third module focuses on security architecture, which revolves mainly around um, third party vendors, infrastructure as code, um, what are cloud networks, what is cloud security, uh, centralized versus decentralized networks, what are on premise networks. As part of this module, you'll also look at the different devices like web application firewalls, you look at load balancers, next generation firewalls. So, once again, it's a great little mix of different technologies. Module 4 focuses on security operations, which is mainly associated with helping you to get a SOC analyst role. And it focuses on how you harden targets, uh, focuses on wireless devices, mobile solutions, wireless security solutions, app security, what is sandboxing, how you monitor devices, all of these different skills that are mainly associated with a SOC analyst role. And finally, module 5 focuses on security program management and oversight, which you can classify this as the boring stuff within cybersecurity, although it's not, it's very important, but it's not very technical and focuses more on what are standards, what are procedures, what are policies, how you can enforce standards, what are the difference between standards, procedures, policies, all of this stuff which relates to the governance side of cybersecurity. You'll also look at the risk management process, you'll understand and learn about compliance, and you'll also be given scenarios where you'll have to use this knowledge to implement security awareness practices. If you look at the breakdown for these different modules, from an exam perspective done percentage wise, then the least weightage goes to general security concepts, which is 12%. Next up comes module three, which is security architecture at 18%. You've then got your module five, which is program management and oversight at 20%. And your two biggest modules are module two and module four which is threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations. And module four, which is security operations, as I said earlier, more associated with helping you get a SOC analyst role is sitting at 28% of the exam. Now, speaking about what are the different resources you need if you want to prepare for this exam. And again, number one, the first thing that you've got to do, and this stands true for any certification out there, is you've got to do the original guide which is offered by Comtia for the specific exam. That is one of the most important resources that you've got to do. Back that up with a good video library. Now, there are plenty of good video courses out there. One of the ones is Zero to Mastery. The link is going to be in the description. It's got a nine hour long Comtia Security Plus course. This is charged at a fee. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. You can check all of that information out there. But if you're looking for something free, then you can look at Professor Messer's Comtia Security Plus video library, which is also very good for this exam. So you do the guide, you do the um, video library, and you're in a pretty strong position to then pass the exam. But of course, you should also do some practice tests. And Udemy is probably one of the best platforms when it comes to finding good practice tests. So you can just go on to Udemy, find a practice test with good ratings, read the review, see which was as close to the exam and go ahead with that one, practice and you should be ready for the exam. So there you go guys, this was a breakdown of the best ever entry level cybersecurity certificate which is the Comtia Security Plus. If you like this video or found it helpful, I would really encourage you to check our latest playlist that I made on Home Labs. You go to find it right here, you can check the Home Labs practice them in your own time and it comes with a guide as well. Share it with anyone who's looking to get into cybersecurity. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.